Hey y'all, I'm Nick from the Shopify Functions team. And in this video series, we'll be giving you some quick tips on developing with Shopify Functions. Our first episode is about using the VS Code GraphQL extension with functions input queries. One of the first steps in creating a function is writing a GraphQL input query, which defines the data that's available to your function. Each function API has slightly different data available to it, defined by a GraphQL schema. Writing your input query using reference documentation is possible, but tedious. Since there's not an endpoint available to execute your query, you have to depend on the output of Shopify CLI to know whether it's valid. The VS Code GraphQL extension gives you code completion features that show you the available fields and their documentation. It will also let you know if your input query is invalid. By default, the extension looks for a GraphQL config in the root of your project, which for us is the Shopify app root. There are many names and file formats that you can use for this configuration file. For functions, we can configure each app extension as a project. The needed GraphQL schema file is included by Shopify CLI when you generate the function, and there's a CLI command to update it. After configuring the function extension in the GraphQL config, autocomplete now works for our input query. The GraphQL extension supports dynamic configuration via JavaScript as well. In fact, the new Remix Shopify app template includes a JavaScript configuration that will automatically include all function extensions. Keep in mind that you may need to restart your editor when you add new functions to your app so that the GraphQL config will recognize them. That's all for now. See the episode notes for helpful resources related to today's tip. Cheers. Autocomplete now works for our input query.